Okay, so this is my video for lab three for ECE 568. So I'll start with a quick overview um, of the layout here. Left hand side is the ThingSpeak interface. Um, there's the field that contains the status for whether the system is armed or not. Currently it's disarmed, it's just hard to tell because of the uh, x-axis scale there. On the right hand side of the monitor, I have my code and then at the bottom is the print console where it'll show like the calibration and the armed status and whatnot. Finally, uh, at the bottom here, I have all the hardware. So I have my um, phone right here and then I have this is the MPU 6050. Um, for calibration and to start it, uh, I'm weighing it down with the densest thing I could find around here. Um, and then over here, of course, is the ESP32. We have the green armed status diode and the red alarm status diode. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the code here. And the first thing it's gonna do, connects the Wi-Fi and shows um, how it calibrated to compensate for gravity. For some reason, this board thinks that gravity is about like seven to eight meters per second squared on the Z-axis. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it's not just because it's slightly tilted, it's just a little bit off, but that's fine because we're compensating for it. So um, the next thing we do is go over to my phone, activate arm sensor. Okay, activating the arm sensor. So it's hard to tell um, on this graph, you can see another dot appeared there. And once the 30 second sensor timer goes through, we'll see it says motion detector armed and then our green LED is on. So now this thing is armed to send a notification to my phone when it detects motion on the MPU 6050, which I'm going to do now. So I'm going to remove the cube um, and you can tilt it so that gravity causes motion or you can just sort of move it around. It doesn't really matter. We'll get the red LED there. And within a couple seconds, we're going to get notifications onto my phone. Now I have it programmed to send notifications every three seconds or to detect motion every three seconds. And because there's a one minute limit for how many uh, notifications it can send, um, it'll send them every three seconds for about a minute as long as we keep moving this thing around. And as you can see, if I set it back down, the red LED will turn off and it'll stop sending notifications. So this is just gonna keep going off for a little while. Um, it's gonna stop briefly, but then keep going. And eventually it should stop altogether, regardless of what I do, just because we hit that one minute timer. And I do wanna show that functionality. So I'm just gonna have to sort of wait it out here. There we go, still sending them. And as you can see, it does have the detected acceleration. This is again like compensating for the effects of gravity on the initial z-axis. So um, uh, the acceleration might be a little bit strange, but anyway, that was the last notification. We can still see the red LED is on to indicate that it's detecting motion, but the minute timer has been up, uh, completely elapsed to stop it from blowing up your phone. So at this point, I can set it back down. The red LED will turn off. Next thing that I can do is activate disarm sensor. Got it. Activating the disarm sensor. So Google will hear that. This graph should update and place another data point um, at zero as soon as it posts properly. There we go. There's the data point. And then it'll say motion sensor disarmed. And at this point, the green LED is off. Um, you know, I can do whatever I want with this board. The red LED isn't coming on, and of course we're not going to get any notifications. And then finally, um, activate arm sensor. All right, activating the arm sensor. So we activate it once more. Um, this should go up, and we're going to see that's going to say in the bottom right of the screen right now, it's going to say motion detector armed as soon as the uh, 30 second timer elapses to um, grab the motion detector state. So I'm not sure what that timer is at right now, but the moment that that elapses, we will see, it'll say that it is armed and it will recalibrate for uh, gravity each time we rearm the system. So there it goes. Um, it uh, defaulted the accelerate, accelerometer values again, and our green LED is on. And of course I can, you know, now move this around, try to detect motion, red LED turns on, and here comes the notifications. So yeah, that's about it. Um, that's lab three. Uh, this thing is just gonna keep going. So 
I'm gonna cut it off there. Uh, yeah, see ya.